oh yeah, I'll just bunny hop up onto the curb. I mean, it's the wrong kind of bike for that, but my mentality is still like, I could jump up onto that wall. I mean, this is as risky as it gets, me filming myself whilst on a bike. Ooh. I mean, it would help if I actually bought the keys for it. That's just sort of sinking in. That's a lot, of, that's a long time. Sometimes you've got to do it for yourself, haven't you? What an incredible person. What an in I've just had the most incredible hour. We're going to get a band together. Yeah, Watch this so. space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're an absolute star. Thank you, man. I know what I'm going to do. Get on the bus! Have you ever felt terrible? in your body and aching like, oh, I feel like I need to have something more than a massage, someone who knows something about your body. Well, that's what I'm going to do now. Have my body worked on and looked at, see how I'm actually feeling with somebody very special called Ollie. I'm gonna head there now. Going on a bike, electric bike. I mean, it would help if I actually bought the keys for it. You get to see some beautiful scenery again on the way. Sorry, but can we just take a moment to appreciate all of that? I mean, how wonderful. Anyway, next stop, Sulphur's Boy. An electric bike definitely makes all of this very easy. Though you still keep pedalling all the time. What do we think of these scooters? I mean, I'm doing 25, 26 kilometers an hour. Going along without a helmet is going to hurt, isn't it? Solversborg, Solversboy, Solversboy is the city centre around here, or the biggest town. If you're in the car, you wouldn't be able to go this route. This route takes you over a fantastic bridge, which I've never ever been over. That's something to do. Also, I'm gonna go and play golf on this course, or maybe one of the other golf courses sometime soon. Um, beautiful. You know, there's two things. A lot of people went, oh no, not at all. But because I spend so much time in countries where they drive on the other side of the road, when I cross the road, I always look left first. So cycling out here isn't a problem. And I think when I, when I pass my test driving, I think driving on, on the right hand side of the road will make complete sense to me. Also, the other one is jet lag. People always say, oh yeah, you know, jet lag, jet lag. I often think that the one hour time difference is more annoying. Like you go back and you're one hour, go back to the UK and you're one hour behind, but in your head, you're, you're one hour ahead. And I find that one always screws me up more than like an eight hour or six hour. Sometimes I find it hard to believe that this is my life compared to what it used to be like. You have to, you have to just take that all in for a second. Like I have to really just go, oh, it is amazing. When I was a kid, a lot younger than I am now, I was a BMXer, skateboarder, snakeboarder. Anyone remember snakeboarding? Uh, rollerblader, all of that. And it's funny, whenever I used to, Whenever I got on a bike, I'd be looking at jumping over everything, jump over everything, jump downstairs. And I still sort of have that in me now that I think, oh yeah, I'll just bunny hop up onto the curb. I mean, it's the wrong kind of bike for that. But my mentality is still like, yeah, I could jump up onto that. I could jump up onto that wall. But what I've decided is don't do anything that might harm you. There's no point in doing that. I mean, saying that, I mean, this is as risky as it gets, me filming myself whilst on a bike. Ooh. My girlfriend gave me markers to find this guy's place. Red house, turn left. That's the red house. My appointment's at nine o'clock. It's now just 10 to nine. I've timed it perfectly. My girlfriend said, you have to go and see Ollie. He's incredible. It's not like a masseuse. It's not like chiropractor. It's not orthopedic. Well, it is. It's, it's one of them. I can't remember which one. He has a great thing about him. I love now that I'm in a position where I can go, yeah, I'm going to go and get everything I possibly can out of this. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna park the bike up. I'm so excited. 
Next time you see me on here, we'll see how I feel. Might not be able to walk. Do everything with an open mind. That's what you have to do. Beautiful church. Hey, Jack, jazz in the church. Do it there. Wish me luck. Oh my God, I feel amazing. I can't, I can't actually. What an incredible person. I can't really explain how I feel, but I mean, I think you can see it in my face. Uh, you probably hear it in my voice. My God. What an, I've just had the most incredible hour. I feel wonderful. How good. I'm going to go and sit, well, sit somewhere and take all that in, actually. Amazing person. I am... Wow. Amazing. I feel absolutely brilliant. Ollie's professional title is physiotherapist osteopath but much more than that he was uh, telling me how things in your body are connected to certain things and thoughts and you know and some people obviously don't believe those kind of things and go oh that's rubbish but I'll tell you what every he nailed everything about my life and what I've been through and what I go through and how I my outlook on everything little injuries and little things uh, yeah I feel so good I feel amazing anyway this is Silver's boy the square i'm gonna go and get a coffee sparkling water and a coffee sparkling water coffee sparkling water and a coffee beautiful day again today we're in september it's september the 6th and today is my three and a half thousand days sober how happy is that three thousand five hundred days cheers to that eh three thousand five hundred days i know what i'm gonna do what on earth could it be that i'm doing what could i be doing have a little think about it. I've done a get on the bus about this before. You're gonna have to wait a little bit longer because what I wanted to do, where I wanted to go, is not open. But don't worry, it's gonna be happening. I'm gonna head back home. Can you guess what it is? Put in the comments right now what it is. Silver's Boy Bridge. There you go. 760 metres long. I know that because it said it on that information board. I'm going to stop filming now and just take it all in for myself. Sorry to be that person, but sometimes you've got to do it for yourself, haven't you? Let me guess what I'm going to go and do yet. Yeah. Might not happen. I've got to check out and see whether it's open. Phoning that. I'll pick up on this on Friday. And you'll never know what day it is. I could have just told you it's the same day as long as I wear the same clothes. We're going to have a little look up this street. We're approaching it from the other end of where I approached it this morning. Why do you say who's there? Because it's a bike. Oh. You don't want to be on the video, do you? But you've probably worked it out. I'm getting the extra on my tattoo because it's now nine and a half years. You've never met Josephine before. Yes, it is. So the guy who's going to do the tattoo is a guy called Kim. You went to school with his sister. Yeah. Can't have it done now, but tomorrow at 1500 hours. And it's worked out absolutely perfect because Josephine is going to see Ollie tomorrow, who I went to see today, which is why I'm the happiest ever. So I've got to wait until tomorrow to get the extra dash on my tattoo. If you haven't seen the one where I got the first tattoo, go in the description, there's a link to it. You can watch the first one when I have my tattoo in December. So what we've decided to do is go for a burger. We're not going to wait here until tomorrow, but we're going to have a burger. So we come to a place called Shady Burgers. We've never been here. And since I've been coming here, I've been saying, I want to go to Shady Burgers. Let's see what we've got. This is a, oh my God, double chili, chili pepper burger. and truffle fries. Bon appetit, as they say in Sweden. Here we go. Chili something. Oh my God. I don't know how you start to do it. <laughs> Wonderful. Shady burgers. Shady burgers, 10 yes, out of 10. Yes, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Chris. Chips. How do you say the other things that you eat? Fries. Fries. Chips. Chips. Oh, never going to learn that. Anyway. Chips is crisps in Swedish. Yeah. Horrible. 
Okay, we're gonna go home now. Next stop is Tattoo tomorrow. Oh my. And Josephine's going to the, um, <laughs> Josephine's going to see Ollie. Sea fog coming in. That, that's the coastline. So oh, wow. Look at that. Sit back. So beautiful. It doesn't get much better than that, does it? Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> different day you can tell that I'm wearing the same shirt but I've got I've got a hat on different hat brought the old Paul Smith blue leopard print jacket out Josephine's here and we're off to uh, Solver's Boy am I saying that right I'm going to have the tattoo wanted to mark how many years I've been sober from alcohol so I have AF and then started a tally so it was nine years on March the 27th but I haven't got round to going to a tattoo shop to go Josephine's got a tattoo as well which is where I was yesterday on the bike tell us about the duck I found it on the road and I felt so sorry for it and I There you go. Just dropped Josephine off. She's just gone to see Ollie. That experience yesterday was is still going through me. Like, wow, really good. Anyway, so as I was saying, tattoo. Something I never ever thought I would do in my life was have a tattoo, but this one's got a poignant meaning. My dad was a bit annoyed when uh, he knew that I'd had one, but then when he knew the reason and the, you know, I think he was, he was okay. Certainly got the weather good yesterday. So I just arrived here and the tattoo artist is Kim and we were just talking outside and saying where you're from and stuff I was like, oh, I'm originally from Brighton, you know, Burgess Hill, Brighton. I was saying I was a musician, he says he's a musician as well. I'm playing in a punk rock band and been over to London, done stuff in Camden and Brighton. And I said, oh, bad manners. I said, manage, you know, bad manners. And he goes, no way. He's like, I love bad manners. He's got loads of friends, and skinhead fans, uh, bad manners fans in Malmö. This would be a bit of an exciting good chat. You know you've stepped into a good place when they're playing Laverne Baker. If you've never listened to Laverne Baker, in the description, there is a link to Spotify. Go and listen to Revival Day, Hot Time in the Old Town tonight. Laverne Baker, absolutely killing. I love this band, it's killer. Have as many cigarettes as you want. We're just saying uh, Laverne Baker is absolutely just I can't really believe that more people don't know her. Yeah, go, honestly, go to the description, check it out. You'll love it. This is Kim. Hey, man. <laughs> Where are we? Silver's Boy. Yeah, of course. Silver's Boy. South Sweden, Silver's Boy. The most beautiful part of Sweden. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's the best part of Sweden. We were just talking about the music that was being played. Laverne Baker, so good. And you had it on a playlist that you wanted to put together with a band. Yeah. So should we put a band together then? Yeah, of course, man. Yeah, let's do that. I'll, I'll, pl I'll play some honking saxophone. Yeah, I'm a drummer. Yeah, and great. I know all the other people, so... It's as easy as that. We need a manager. I can do that. You can come up with a logo. Yeah, of course. All right. We go on tour. So what am I having done? I'm having an extra line. This should have been done on March 27th. That's when, because this is how long I've been alcohol free. Yeah. Obviously on the road, drugs and alcohol took over my life, but now I'm sober. So, so nine years. <laughs> nine, yeah, nine and a half years from alcohol, seven years from cocaine. One day I'll die of nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, without alcohol, I had stopped drinking in 2004, so I have 19 years without alcohol. Man. Congratulations, man. It's not needed, is it? Let's do this line, man. Well, there it is. Look at that. And there we are. Nine years. Official. Kim, you've made it official. Thanks so much, man. Thank you, man. Beauty. Alcohol. Yeah. And it gets too many people. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's the cheapest, most uh, reliable, most easy to get drug there is. If it was invented now, it would be illegal. Yeah, that and white sugar. Yeah, of course. White sugar. Well, I'm on a non sugar diet. Yeah, that's so, a nice <laughs> Non sugar all the way. So you came over to Brighton and you came to Camden. Yeah. Play, what was the band called? Split Side. I have a lot of hobbies, but music is something that will never die. No, of course you not. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Music's always the connection. As soon as yeah, I mentioned bad manners, the band. I have to say that. It was Buster's birthday yesterday. He was 65 years old, the old bugger. But he's doing all right. I've just gone to pay Kim and he said no. Of course not. Three and a half thousand days yeah. off alcohol yeah. yesterday. And I was sat around the corner. I was like, I know what I'm going to do. And then I walked around here. And then Josephine later was like, no, we'll come back. And she's my old neighbor. I know, she said in Lugerson. Yeah. I went to school with your sister. Yeah. We're going to get a band together. Yeah, Watch this space. Right. Yeah, man. yeah. Man, thanks so much for today. Thank you, man. You're an absolute star. Thank you, man. I am so touched by that. What an absolute legend. What an absolute legend. Uh, this this last two days have been incredible. Incredibly, incredible. I can't talk. I had this yesterday when I came out of the uh, with seeing Ollie. Thanks for joining me in Solvers Boy. I don't even know what the time is, but I'm going to go and find Josephine, but wherever she is. Here's to 3,500 days sober beautiful people in in south of sweden don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you on the next one all right folks see you soon bye bye how are you feeling oh, happy amazing good day all round <laughs> bye bye